Huh, the different, uh, interesting, wow. the different layers. Whoa. Yeah, that is black. Wow. That's about as far as I can get you. If you flush the organisms that are right on the side, is, will it kill them if you just flush them quickly? I mean, it's probably um, quick enough that they can just sort of hold their breath, yeah. and then it'll pass over them, and it should be okay. I mean, it looks like they have fluctuating levels. I got to land on once in the Johnson Sea Link, yeah. and you make waves, and when the waves come to the shore, you can see all the little crabs and worms just running up the beach. Wow. So cool. Look at coming in from the side <laughs> as well. Oh, it's like Perfect. Perfect. It's like Perfect. Armageddon. Of like the world. Oh it's like this is the world ending. This is what it would look like. Total darkness forever. So I made that dark quick. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Remember, choices are forever. <laughs> There's a question coming in about if we've ever taken a core sample from directly within the brine pool. Yeah, we we have it in um, a few different brine pools. That was. Mandy Joy was out here last year with Alvin uh, on a cruise that was solely sampling brine pools. And they were taking samples of the brine and the mud and looking at the microorganisms in there and did a lot of that. Little islands of mussels in there. They'll make a living they wherever they can. Oh, yeah. Oh, now I see. Oh, my goodness. And those are the bristle threads that they stick to each other with, the little pads, the hairy stuff that you see. Yeah. Is that white in the middle? Is that salt or is that bacterial mass? It's barite. It's barium sulfate. Oh. It's precipitating out of the brine. We're rich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all barite. A bar that barite precipitate. And then if you... Bob, if you look down in this corner, in the lower right-hand corner of that little pool, the side pool, I think you might see the, the brine actually seeping out of that little hole in the wall down there. You can see the, the shimmering of the surface of the brine. So it's a different density. It's super salty water, and that's what's making it compress and stay almost like this underwater lake that you're seeing. And that's the source, and so depending yeah. on the flow from the source is the basically depth of the lake or pool, the brine pool. Oh yeah, you can see it there on the right. Yeah, just by how it's like a current. Are. You can Let see me the go current. In just again yeah. it. Thanks, Mary. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's just. Whoa! Look at the. It's just mind-boggling to see ripples on the bottom of the ocean. Yes, it's yeah. like a lake, and it's just and people keep now feverishly typing in what makes it not. Mix and I can't, I, because it's it's three to four times the salinity of seawater. Yeah, so it's acting oh, look at more that like one. a we're, solid. We're stirring it up now. Yeah, yeah. that's good because we're already kind of in the. I was going to switch it to bubble cam. They're just yeah. starting to dip oh, the awesome. front porch in there. So if you look wow. straight down a bubble cam, you'll be able to see some of the waves that we create when we first hit the brine pool. All right, you want to come down just a little bit more and make some waves. Uh, yep, we have a lot of methane and sulfide. A lot of methane and sulfide? Yep. A lake in an ocean. Okay. Charles, how does it compare to the other brine pools we've been in so far today? So we have wow. more methane than the cool. two previous ones. Was that what you were expecting to see? Yeah. Great. Methane and sulfide? So there's actually more methane in that one than the previous ones. Oh, interesting. Can awesome. I zoom in on that real quick? Yeah, that's super neat. Her sure. What are you zooming on? And that curl right down there? Yeah. I mean, that it's amazing that that's just the densities of the water, the super salty, briny water and the surrounding seawater. It's water. just cool. So, yes. And then the sediment also, the dark black sediment is anoxic okay, for lack of oxygen. Yeah. It's just to humor me. 